I have a Visual Basic application created here in which I have two text boxes showing two numbers. I'm going to divide the first by the second. So in this case, uh, the default will be 230 divided by 12 when I click the Calculate Quotient button. And it's going to show me the result in a dialog box or in a message box. So let me just run this so you can see this work. And my result here of 230 divided by 12 is 19.1666666 and so forth. The reason it's showing this many digits is because we look at our code, I'm using a double value, which is 16 significant digits. And that's what's being shown in the message box. I'd like to format the maybe just for two or three uh, decimal digits. And it's really easy to do with two string. And this works both with Visual Basic and C Sharp in that the two-string method takes an optional parameter or optional argument of a string and I can specify the letter n and it can be either uppercase or lowercase and the number of decimal digits that I want. So if I put in quotes n2 inside the two-string parentheses and I run this again it's going to format it as a numeric value with two decimal digits. If I change that N2 to an N3, it's going to give me three digits and so forth. Now some other things I can do with this string, instead of an N, I could use a C. In fact, I'm going to change this to C2 because C stands for currency. And this will give me a currency value with two digits. And now we have $19.17. And it will use whatever the currency value is that's set up within Windows. We can also put this as a P, which is going to give us a percentage. I'm going to change my values here a little bit so that this is actually going to give us less than uh, 100%. So 10 divided by 12, and I say calculate quotient, that's 83.33%. So it gave me the percentage. Instead of 0.833, it gave me 83.33%. So it's moving the decimal place two, two places to the right. In this case, it gave me two digits to the right of the decimal. So N for numbers, C for currency, P for percentage. There are others besides those. You can use exponential values and so forth, uh, but those are the ones we'll use in this class. N, C, and P. And don't forget to enclose it in quotes.